Misty May back here, so <clears throat> thought I'd do another vlog on my day. And currently it is 10:20 in the morning, and it's pretty sunny outside, kind of. And I thought I'd talk this, take this opportunity before it rains again to walk. Now I'm gonna go get dressed, get ready for my walk. School bell just rang. That's okay. There's no school. Quarantine vlogs. I'm just kidding. I don't even know what day quarantine we're on. Probably second week. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm ready to go. I gotta get my jacket on, bring my water bottle, and of course I gotta bring my music. So. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to it. the sun stays out longer. My little kitty's having fun. All right, so I had to put the cat away and I'm walking on my own, but that's okay. You know, I probably do some more long distance things than a whining cat who doesn't want to be outside for more than five minutes. I'm out of breath. Just finished my eight miles, really tired. And now I gotta go wash up and then continue on with my day which consists of doing schoolwork and doing nothing. So I cleaned up, washed my fish tank, got him a new home. Well, not really a new home, a clean home. Did some work, so I did everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I may just do a random make video for you guys today too. I think I might do that. I don't know what color. Oh, it's March. Let's do green. So this is the blemish control and then this is the uh, poreless. So I'll tell you what I do with each of these. So I'm gonna take some of the uh, blemish control, not that much one pump's worth, and I just put it on the areas where I have the most acne. Now I'm 
going in with the poreless. I'm only doing a small pump, and I put this where my pores are the biggest, where it's right here. Real Techniques Beauty Blender, and I'm going to use the flat side of this. I'm just going to push it on one first again. You're going to really like that one. Recently bought a foundation. It's expensive, I'll tell you that, but I love it. I love it absolutely. It matches my skin almost perfectly, and I found a foundation that really, really just works for me. So thank God. And it is the um, Long Comb Ultra Wear. Love it. I'm in the shade of 100, and I just do this like usually. It only takes about two pumps to cover the whole entire face. Now, luckily, this foundation is buildable, so if I feel like I need to, I will add on um, more in some areas. guys just look at that already you know I already put on some on my chin of where what it now you can see it kind of just blends right in. I don't have words for this right now I am just loving this And now you can see like how well it actually covers my skin and how well it matches. And I absolutely love this. This is medium to full coverage. It's medium with the two pumps. And I've still got enough to cover the rest of my face. Now, I personally love a more full coverage foundation. Now this does wonders already, but I have spots so you can still see that I'd like to cover it up. So I'll take just a little bit more. And I do just cover those little trolley stone spots. I won't do any concealer because right now the concealer that I have is the one to work with the foundation that I have. So with the bottom of my beauty blender, I'm going to use. Um, uh, blending out some contour, hopefully, and I'm actually using um, a lipstick for this because the lipstick that I chose for this, I don't like. I don't like the way that it was um, looking like as a lipstick. No, this is actually looking uh, like a pretty good contour. Get a closer look here. It's not taking up any of my foundation on underneath, so I'm liking the way that this is. I'm gonna build it just a little bit more. This particular lipstick that I'm using is NYX Lingerie in the color Honeymoon. in fair. Fit me fair. Traditionally, I just stamp it underneath my eyes first, and 
and a little on the eyelids just to make sure that there's no creasing involved and then I just powder everywhere else. Well, stamp, stamp, stamp. Copper Girls in Rose Silk. And I have my blush brush. This is the um, Luxi, I don't even know how you say that, Luxi um, 514 blush brush. And all the other brushes that I usually have been using, this is <laughs> Real Techniques powder brush. But, you know, I use it for brush. This is also a time where I do put on highlighter, highlighter, highlighter on just my um, cheeks and a little bit on my forehead, not too much. Um, I am using Elf's um, Shimmer Highlighting Powder, Starlight Glow. No, ELF, Alf. I like this because this is a subtle one. Although sometimes I have to pack it. To get anything like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying this is a bad one. Bad blush. I'm gonna do my brows. I do a dip brow pomade thing with a powder, and I do use Elf's brow pomade in the shade medium brown. And I take, um, if I don't drop everything, I take um, Elf's Eyebrow Duo Brush and I just not load it up because that would be too much, but I lightly load it up then. Are you guys see how I do my brows? Brows are done. We are gonna go right into the eyes. All right, now what the heck am I doing? This color here, and I'm using my um. I got the Jaclyn Hill brushes, and so this is Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH33. I'm using this one, and I'm gonna go in with that color. <laughs> You were 
gonna go in with this darker color right next to it. And I literally just tapped it in. I don't even have that much on my brush. Usually did one little tap, tapped it again, and I'm just gonna go in. And I'm just gonna darken the color. Black in okay, I don't have a black in this palette, so I'm gonna use a different palette, which is the 3502 palette. JH40 brush, you're gonna go in with that same dark shade, just tap it in ever so slightly, and you're gonna drag that dark color down. Okay, 3502 palette from Morphe, and we're gonna go in with that black shade. We're gonna go in with these two shades. We're gonna go into this shade first, and then we're gonna go into this black shade. And we're gonna go into that first shade, that little, the one right above the black with our, um, what is this? It's a 40. JH40. My uh, JH42 brush is a small little dome-like brush. It's very flat as well. I'm gonna go in with that black shade. Just tap it once. You're going to start from the outer corner and work your way in, but you're going to smudge that black on your lash line. Your JH42, tap it in black, tap off the excess. Marry the two colors on the lash line. Color Heavy Metal in Naked Cosmetics. It's this very, very pretty gold color. It's all loose powder. I just use whatever's in the lid. Be making sure that my JH40 is very, very clean. Tap it into the gold, gold shimmer. And you're gonna put that on your um, the center of your lid. This is where you do mascara and lashes. Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks from Maybelline, and this is the color Seductress, number 65. 